I'm Tanya and this is Dexter and today what we're going to talk about is at home cold laser therapy. If you're new to our channel, do hit the subscribe button, click that bell icon, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're back, Dexter and I truly appreciate your support and we're glad that you're here. So you may or may not know that Dexter is a 12 year old Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and he was diagnosed with Chiari malformation when he was about three. So basically Chiari malformation is when the top of the skull pushes back on the spinal cord which makes that spinal fluid push down the spine in a hard force which causes damage and pockets of fluid throughout a dog's spine or a person's spine. And part of Dexter's treatment has been the use of at-home cold laser therapy and cold laser therapy at his veterinarian's office. In the description below, I'll actually link up to an article that I did with a vet on why and how and how that all works. I'll also have information about Dexter's KR malformation. I'll also provide a link of some of Dexter's other treatments that I'm doing with him. But today, I just wanted to go over the cold laser therapy treatment I do for Dexter at home just to give you an idea. I started to use the cold laser therapy because of his Chiari malformation, but as he's starting to age, he's also starting to get his old man body. He's getting a little more inflammation throughout his body, such as his joints and his hips. So not only am I using the cold laser for his Chiari, I'm also now incorporating the cold laser therapy for his other parts of his body to help fight that inflammation. And fighting inflammation is the basics of what cold laser therapy does. So for Dexter, I'm doing about 10 minutes a day, ideally, or every other day throughout his spine to treat that Chiari malformation. So we start from the head and go all the way back here. And then I also try to do another 10 to 15 minutes on his arms and his hips. Now sometimes I do break that up 10 minutes in the morning, maybe 10, 15 minutes on the other parts in the afternoon. Honestly, it depends on my schedule and what I'm doing. You can do it for five minutes here, five minutes there. Any kind of treatment is gonna be beneficial for your dog, except for the laser. You don't wanna look at the laser and you don't want your pets to look at the laser. They do make glasses for dogs and people in case you're afraid that you're gonna look at the light. But I'm pretty cautious when I do it with Dexter. I don't look at the light. He doesn't have any interest of looking at what I'm doing. Um, I also make sure that during certain parts I might cover it in case he does look around or use a blanket to flip it over. Now remember, I said 10 minutes for his back, another 10, 15 minutes for his legs. So I'm just gonna do a quick demo. We're not gonna do the whole treatment. This laser also has different options for that. The article that I have listed below that speaks with the veterinarian will go over different options on a laser so that you can help decide what's gonna be the best option for your pet. And it also has a link to the laser that we're using. I'll add that in the description as well. And I'll add the name of it too. I have the link on Amazon, so sometimes they sell out. So if they're sold out, you can look for it by the name or shoot me a message, shoot me a comment. I'll help you find it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I'm gonna turn it on the one that I use for Dexter. And I'm gonna start up here. So I'm gonna put it next to his skin. It's best to have it for about a minute and then move minute and then move, give or take, versus taking it and going all over the place. You see different videos online. And again, that article that I wrote, I asked that question because I wasn't sure. And I think back to when Dexter gets his laser treatments at the vet and they are doing it about a minute and then moving, about a minute and then moving. So I just sit it here and again, you can see that you can't see it. So it's up against the skin. I'm not pressing down on it. It's just that gentle on and then after about a minute I'm gonna go the the wands about that so I'm gonna go that length down and then again another minute and I'm not watching the time and sometimes I do watch the the time and we're gonna go for another minute and we'll pretend that it's another minute and then we're gonna go back down and I'm again going space to space so I'm hitting that entire spine 
And as you see, Dexter flipped over. So that means I have to move because he's relaxed in it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to move that wand to go back to that spine area. And again, another minute. And <laughs> then we're going to go down another minute. It's really always best, as always, to speak with your dog's veterinarian. They'll also be able to help you determine on what spots that you need to focus on for your dog. They'll be able to give it, you know, a little manipulation and say, okay, we definitely have inflammation here, so let's target that area. I can't speak highly enough for Dexter's veterinarian who specializes in canine rehab. She's been our godsend and she's been the one that really helps determine what's going to be best for Dexter. Um, and we do follow-up treatment so that we can evaluate and move along. So again, one minute, pretend that I go all the way down here. So the other one is I do work these arms now. So I'm going to come up and I'm going to feel where he's at up here at the shoulder. You know, just think about us, you know, as we age, especially where are we aching and breaking? You know, where do we feel like we're, we're tight? And again, when he does that, I just need to make sure that I'm keeping kind of the wand where it's at. I don't want to get that into the eyeball and pretend another minute. And then we're going to come back down another minute. Minute, we're going to come back down and I go over to his elbows. When I do his elbows, I do tend to put my hand under his elbow and then I'm going to come right here. And the elbows, the elbow and the front leg parts, those are the parts for Dexter that I just have to be careful that the red light doesn't shine through so that, you know, I don't look at it or he doesn't look at it. And again, another minute and we can come down all the way to the toes. You can come down all the way there and then again we're going to come down here and I just follow kind of where his body's moving I don't want to make him stay stationary I want him to feel comfortable where he can move wherever it is he wants and again we're going to work our way all the way down and I like to come up to this hip area and come over here we know the drill right another minute we move our way down another minute and down to these ankles you can come inside and, and do the inside of the thighs as well and so for Dexter I don't know if you can see let me turn this off for a second, just so we don't get blinded. I didn't brush him before the video on purpose because you probably can't tell, but he's very wet here. So he's been licking here, he, which can be allergy, can be things like that going on. But right now his allergies are not flared up. So that tells me all that licking that he might have some inflammation going on here. He might be a little more achy over here and a little more tender. Touching will, will help determine that too if I touch him and he kind of, you know, moves real quickly. But that means for me that I want to make sure that I am getting that and I'm going to make sure that I probably do this one daily. So I have been hitting this area daily for him. And as I said, you can break this up so that it's not really long sessions, so that they're short and sweet, which can benefit you, it can benefit your dog. So if, you know, sitting on the floor can be uncomfortable, we also do it. I'll do it in our bed, I'll do it on the sofa, wherever Dexter and I tend to gravitate. If your dog has inflammation in, in their ears, you can even do their ears. You can even do their bum if you're dealing with anal gland issues. Anywhere there's inflammation minus our eyeballs. So we want to make sure we keep those eyeballs free of the laser light. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give Dexter and I a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click that bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. And if you're a Cavalier family, do check the description below. I have a private Cavalier Facebook group that we'd love to have you join. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, you can check out my private Patreon group. That link's below, too. And remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. What's he want? Does he want more laser? You want more snacks, don't you? Say not laser, snacks. <laughs>